Hello, it is Saturday, January 21st, 2011 at 4.12 a.m. Central Standard Time. And earlier this evening I was looking at these kind of strange clouds that we have in the Gulf here. They just kind of, um, it's kind of like these snake clouds are just sitting here. I did a video on those earlier. And I went and looked closer here in the Gulf. And you can see and this loop is about Oh, 337 to 622 on January 21st. And you can see they just kind of sit here and flicker. They're not really going anywhere. <laughs> They're clouds that aren't going anywhere. And we're, we're also giving some interesting activity up in here in Alabama. Well, no, that's not Alabama, Georgia. And so I went and looked at the um, infrared satellite to try to get a feel for the clouds that were going through and there's these really strange clouds going through and then here towards the end you can see they get kind of get holes in them let's see like right in here here's a little hole here a hole here a hole here and so I'll go ahead and let this go through whoops going backwards again one more time and this one's going from 1715 on January 20th through 631 on the 21st. And I, I didn't really notice anything specific going on right in this area other than this cloud is going through and it's coming from down this way. So I went and looked at the United States infrared satellite and it's going from 7.15 on the 20th through 6.45 on the 21st, that's UTC time. I noticed right in here that this cloud all of a sudden kind of comes apart. Let's see. It's like right, right in here, 19.45 UTC, 20, see right down in here? Let me, let me zoom in. Oh, got to click it. We go. Now go back a few frames. See, it it, ha it does have um, looks like scalar wave type clouds going on, but then all of a sudden it see how it gets even more broken up. That's at 915, 1945. It's in at 20. It really does see that. And then now at 2045, we've got holes showing up, kind of like it was showing up on that other one. Twenty-one forty-five, more holes. And we got this big system going up. Lots of rain in um, Oregon, I guess. They're getting flooding and ice and stuff in Washington. Let me go ahead and play this through, and then I'm going to switch over to next sat. Because this cloud comes through and actually works into this area here where the, we were getting that those strange clouds that were just sitting there. So um, I went over to next sat to look at that, and let me go ahead and play that the United States because I want to see if this cloud better. And the strangest thing showed up. I don't know if you just saw it there, it just went patty all the way through and then we'll go back and look at it. Right there, going, going to go back, let's see, it's frame 18 here, right there, oops, that's at 21.45 UTC on the 20th. Look at these circles. I mean, this is really weird. Um, <laughs> this one's in Montana. And then this one is, I don't know if you can see it. You've got to kind of squint at it. This one's centered in Utah, kind of right where Wyoming and Utah meet here. And this is right in Mexico where those clouds were ripped up. See that? See these circles? I don't know if you can see them. And then here's some smaller puddles. Here's one here, centered here. Right here, and there's one centered here, here, here's one over here. There's kind of like a grid pattern on it. But this is happening at the same time when all the 
the storms are going on over here on the west coast. I've never seen anything like this, but I haven't been watching Nexap for that long. And so anyway, when I saw this, I remembered that um, Billy Hayes had pointed out, see, look at that. <laughs> he pointed out that um, the magnetometer was acting up today. So I went back and looked at it. And um, sure enough, at, at um, 2145, there's this big spike right here, 2130, 2145. And then also we've got some other um, frequencies going on. Let me try to explain to you. If you go up here, you can do the last three hours. And I did that earlier today. I just happened to have it. And what you look for is changes in the frequency. In other words, right here we're going along at um, I forgot how he termed it, 2.25 hertz, but it's centered at 2.25 hertz. And you see this spike here at about 19, I don't know, 10. And then it drops just, just a little bit right in here. And that's 2.15 hertz. And then it goes along, and then here's another spike. And then it drops again. See that right here? It drops to 2.0 hertz. And then when you come along here, this is this is the point where those big ring puddles showed up. So I would say there's a direct connection between harp, because this is this is the harp magnetometer. And let me zoom in so that you can see a little closer view of what we're talking about here. See that it goes here. You can't see it as well because it's all squished together, but right here, and then there's a spike, and then it drops a little bit, and then there's a spike, and then it drops a little bit, and then here's that big spike that showed up as puddles over here on next side. So <laughs> I'll play this through so you can just kind of see. I'll see, zoom out a little bit too. Maybe it'll show up better. It kind of wigged out a little earlier, but I'm going to watch it go all the way through. See right here is that cloud that's breaking up, and there's the puddles. And then it's coming. You know, I don't know if it makes, yeah, it makes it all the way over here. Well, maybe not. But anyway, something's adding these and um, I think those puddles make it pretty clear. So there you have it. God bless you, and I hope you can see this good enough. Good night.